not just lying about my girl. We're talking about she was in my other marriage and ruined it. She didn't. My marriage, I got divorced in 2005. But in 2005, let me help you to something. I had nothing. I lost the radio show we were on in L.A. on March 23rd, and I lost the only TV show I had May 10th. I mean, May, 20, May 23rd, I lost the radio show, and May 10th, I lost the TV show. Steve Harvey had no money. I was with Marjorie again on uh, New Year's Eve, met her, talked to her. She was with her kids in Hawaii. We got together in 2006. We had nothing. When I asked her to marry me at the end of 2006, and, I, and then she, she said she wanted to get married in 2007. I sold it too soon. I, I got to get some stuff together. We got married in 2007. Do you know what I was doing in 2007? Nothing. We had four. We had four stations in 2005. Four. We built this. All of us built this. We had four stations. We turned this into something. But that woman got down in that foxhole with me and turned this into something. In 2007, we got married. In 2008, we found out that somebody had stolen seven years of my tax returns. I ain't going to mention no name. And we owed the government $22 million and we in debt. But then guess what? She stayed with me in that. Then guess what? In 2009, I got Family Feud. In 2009, the book came out. In 2012, the talk show came out. I'm telling you, this woman got in the hole and built this with me. She didn't steal nothing. And I'm tired of y'all talking about my girl. Because my girl is one of the best women I've ever met. And why you black ass people out there, like you just going to destroy somebody. I don't really know what that's about. But don't worry about it because it ain't working. Because all we are now, we are a tighter two-handed circle. Thank you for doing that. And you're not going to split us up. And we're not going nowhere. And she is none of what you said she is. And she the best chick I know. Well, damn. Uncle Steve ain't playing with him, son. I guess it was rumors that came out that his wife that he with now stole him from his ex-wife. Because like he said, he said they was divorced in 05. He met her in 06. Married in 07. She stayed down with him even though he was on the IRS millions and millions of dollars. Bruh. This nigga Steve Harvey ain't playing with him, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. I did hear rumors that back in the day, his wife that he with now was married to, I don't know if it was his cousin. It was somebody who was related to him. He was like a D-boy. He was getting a lot of money, hustling. And then, I don't know if he got killed or locked up or whatever. And then that's when Steve Harvey first won her. I don't know how true that is, but but according to him, he like, look, she is not no home wrecker. She came in when I was already divorced. So that nigga said, don't let this rumor fool you. My wife is good. She helped build my empire. Bruh, I know that's right. But if I was Steve Harvey, I wouldn't give a damn about no rumors. If it ain't true, it ain't true. Like, what the hell you speaking on the floor? This nigga Steve Harvey is worth millions of dollars. He on every goddamn talk show. You know what I'm saying? He got movies, books, all this shit. So I don't know why he even talking about it, but I guess he just felt like it was bothering him or maybe it was bothering his wife. I don't know. But shit, that nigga had to set the record straight. Like, look, this is the best woman ever. Don't get it twisted. Don't try to say nothing. Because it is a lot of stories like that. Like Dwayne Wade, for example, how he was with his wife, but then he cheated on his wife with Gabrielle. And then they end up being married. So it is stories like that, but Steve Harvey said, don't get it twisted. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be nuts.